Ace Comic Con. Are you guys ready to meet the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man or what? Right? Come on. I cannot tell you how exciting it is to be here. I cannot tell you how exciting it is to look out and see all of you. And I know you're really excited to see who's coming out here. And let's bring them out. We have three guests. First, from the great state of Hawaii, let's welcome Jacob Batalon. Let's welcome Laura Harrier. That one. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Laura Harrier. How are you? Yay. Good to see you. And ladies and gentlemen, your friendly neighbor, it's Spider Man, Tom Holland. I'll get that too. That was really crazy. What's up, everyone? Hey, wait, wait, hey, wait, guys! Scream really loud right now! Yeah. Hey, hey! That's gotta feel that pretty great. good, right? That's that gotta feel pretty good. good, guys. Let's just start by saying thank you so much for coming. This, this we really you. appreciate you guys. Thank you all. Thank we you owe so everything much. to you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. <laughs> well, it's fantastic to see you all, and congratulations on the great success. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. The newest generation of Marvel stars are some of the favorite stars, and you can feel oh. that. It's coming right at you right now. Oh. Uh, and what, what that must feel like is fantastic. You know, Tom, I want to start with you. You know, one of the great things about Peter Parker is his youth mm -hmm. and the fact that, you know, he's the, la he's the last Marvel character that has a secret identity, yes. like on the big screen. And... Uh, He's the one that the fans feel like they could be. Like, I can't be Superman. I'm not from another planet. I can't be Wonder Woman. But I feel like if I get bit by the right bug, I could be you. That's pretty cool, right? Talk a little bit about that, and, and, and do you think that helps the connection with fans? Well, funny story. We were once all hanging out uh, at my pool in Atlanta, and Laura got bit by a spider. This is true. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> really bad. Me too, and, uh, and uh, Tom, well, what'd you say? I was upset, because I was like, listen, if you're going to get superpowers, I'm going to be really upset now. No concern. <laughs> my arm was the size of my leg. Tom's like, but if you, you know, get superpowers, I'm, I'm never pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that spider had a bunch of spider babies, too, didn't Oh, it did. Uh, I had to go to the uh, ER. I was yeah. in the hospital. God, oh, I'm Remember? so sorry. I was you're so jealous. So sincere. <laughs> Do you have a lot of spiders at your house? Well, this was in Atlanta. Oh, it was in Atlanta. We oh, there's filming. a lot of bugs in, in Atlanta. In my house, there deadly England, ones there. It was really spiders aren't as big a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, that which I'm happy better. about. I mean, I love being Spider-Man, but I hate spiders. And uh, wow, you might yeah. want to keep that quiet. Well, now everyone knows. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the actual arachnids. The arachnids, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, one of the things about Spider-Man is the way that he moves, and he mm -hmm. moves differently than any other superhero. You know, yes. I mean, it's unique to him. Uh, and, you know, with your background with Billy Elliot and the fantastic success that you had. Thank you very much. Well, and the training and the rigors of that and, the, and, and the, the physicality of it, that must have been a tremendous prep for you to play the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, it was a great prep. Thank you very much. It was a great prep. <laughs> it was a great prep, but I still... I think I pulled my hamstring every third day making this movie. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been so lucky doing ballet, doing gymnastics is such a great way to sort of have control of your body. And when I did my screen test for Spider-Man, they were like, so what can you do? And I basically just did as many backflips as I could. <laughs> I remember I was doing my second screen test with yours truly, Chris Evans. Oh, yeah. Great guy. The best. And the, in the scene, it said, Spider-Man flips into frame. So I said to the Russo brothers, I was like, guys, do you want me to flip into frame? And they were like, 
can you? Seriously? I'm like, watch this, guys. Watch this. <laughs> and they said, we can't legally ask you to flip, but you could do it if you want to. So I did it, and it was Chris's first line to start the scene off, and he was so shocked at what I did that he forgot the line. I'm like, Captain America, stay the line. <laughs> That's a pretty good way to, to bounce into the Marvel Universe is with backflips. I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah, so it, that was a good... My backflips have, been, have come in handy over the last couple of years. Yeah, and you know, of all the characters, like I was saying, Peter Parker is the one that is the audience. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, none of us can be Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr., who, yeah. who are the same person, essentially. <laughs> but, but we feel like, you know, you're the one that's... Because you seem to, as amazed by what's going on as, as, as the audience does. Uh, and, and that gives you a very sympathetic role as an actor. That gives you, yeah. uh, there's some challenges with that, but some opportunities, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I think Spider-Man is the character who people can relate to. Right. You know, it's difficult to relate to Tony Stark because his problem is that his yellow Lamborghini didn't show up on time. <laughs> whereas Peter's problem is that his yellow school bus didn't show up on time, you know? So people can relate to that. And for me, I've been playing Spider-Man in my bedroom since I was five. Right. You know, and I see all you guys dressed up in Spider-Man costumes, representing, playing Spider-Man in your own way and bringing your own spin to it, which is great. So while I get to play Spider-Man on the big screen, you guys get to play Spider-Man in the world, and uh, we all share Spider-Man. So it's that character that we can all share, you know? Yeah. I wonder... They are so happy to see you. I love you guys. Uh... <laughs> You know, one of the great things about Spider-Man as a young person is yeah. his friends. Uh, young people measure themselves not so much by their family, but by their friends. And you have some pretty great friends on screen. Oh, uh, Laura, I have the best friends. Jacob. Oh, oh please. No. Please keep cheering, please. That's amazing. Oh, no. I appreciate so. <laughs> you know, for both of you, I mean, it must just be, it must be fantastic. And both of you brought so much heart and humanity to the film because it's easy yeah. to get lost in the big battle scenes. But when we know Peter best is when we see him with his friends. And, and both of you delivered fantastic performances, you know. Uh, so congratulations on that. Thank Seriously. you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And I very, very much mean that. Uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, finding that character. And your character, obviously, there's a big plot twist. Everybody's seen the movie at this point, but you know, uh, it, it's fascinating the idea of uh, a, a girl who wants her boyfriend to be to meet her father, and boy, that's not going to go so well. Like we've all been there. Like, but that yeah. that must have been a fun role. That and that scene must have been a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a fun scene when we did that. Scene. That was really yeah. fun. Um, we were in this crazy house in Atlanta. It just. I mean, it was just the most surreal thing, like hanging out with Michael Keaton, yeah. being like, he's like, yeah. come here, sweetie, like, you know, I'm like, okay, dad, it was super bizarre. Mr. Beetlejuice Batman, yeah. holy yeah. cow. <laughs> like, okay, Batman's my dad, this is cool. Um, but I don't know, I mean, I really enjoy playing Liz because I feel like we so rarely see these girls in high school who are cool and funny and like popular or whatever, but still like kind of nerdy and are nice and care about real things instead of just like, I don't know, makeup. Yeah, she's not vapid. Yeah, she's, she's decent, smart and interesting. And centered, you know? Um, <laughs> woo! Okay. Um, oh. So, yeah, I, I was really honored to be able to, like, bring that to, to life. <laughs> and Jacob, give us, a, this is, give us a moment that you loved during the shooting, uh, like a moment that just could help us, like, feel like we were there. Give us a snapshot memory, maybe. Uh, well, I think that, I mean, making the movie was probably the most amazing experience of my life, but I think that... Uh, <laughs> It's not really the shooting of the movie that I, I remember uh, fondly. I, I mean, I do obviously. But um, thanks, you know, Jacob. But stands out. <laughs> I think. Oh, I think. Well, you know, we were able to uh, visit children's hospitals and you know see all these kids and do all these things. And um, I think that that's probably the most rewarding feeling I've ever felt. And uh, doing, being able to give uh, people like joy like that was really re like the greatest thing ever. I feel. You know, and seeing people, seeing kids get happy for. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was definitely visiting children's hospitals and bring, being able to bring joy to kids was probably the best thing. Absolutely. You know, in Spider-Man, created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, way back in '61, uh, one of the, the keynote 
parts of the character. With great power comes great responsibility. And all three of you know very well the great power of influence and role modeling. And, and I imagine that comes to you in very different ways. Like it, some days it must feel like a, a, a golden, magical thing, but some days it must feel like an overpowering responsibility too, you know? Like, you know, uh, you see all the youngsters and, and they come to you and you, it's hard to have energy up all the time, I imagine, but it's probably a pretty good problem to have, right? I think it is, but what we're, why we're so lucky is we have each other, yeah. you know, but then also we have these great models who are already in the MCU who we can follow, you know. Sure. We're just following the footsteps of RDJ and Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, all these people who have been there from the beginning have done such great things, and we learn from them and try and copy what they did and uh, put our own, I don't know, yeah. millennial spin on it. Well, and, and you got to work with Chris Hemsworth also and Ron Howard, the great yeah. Ron Howard on In the Heart of the Sea, one of my favorite books, and, the, and I love the film. It's outstanding. Uh, did you... And, and talking to Ron about that movie, I know that was an intense movie to film. I mean, the actual filming of that, that movie yeah. was crazy. That must have been a, a, a memorable experience for you. Yeah. <laughs> We were, on a, we were on a special diet when we were on that film, and we were only supposed to eat... <laughs> we were only allowed to eat 500 calories a day, because our characters were meant to look amazing. Famished, yeah. And I remember losing weight and looking skinny, and I remember Chris Hemsworth doing the same, and the first six weeks of the diet, Chris just got ripped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Chris took his shirt off, and we were like, what the hell? That's not fair. But, um, but no, that was a really tough movie, and it was nice for me. When I was auditioning for Spider-Man, I sent Chris an email. Like, hey, mate, can you just let Marvel know that oh, I'm nice. amazing and this and that? <laughs> amazing, spectacular. Yeah, he was like, yeah, mate, no, I'll let them know you never know your lines and you're terrible at acting. I was like, thank you, Chris, appreciate it. <laughs> but no, he sent a nice email to Kevin. That's great. And working with great directors for actors, that's like the amazing thing. And I know that you have a film coming out. You've worked with Spike Lee. I mean, that's an extraordinary experience. Can you tell Thank us a little you. bit about the film that you have coming out with Spike Lee? Um, yeah, it's called Black Klansman, and it takes, it's a true story that takes place in the early 70s. And Adam Driver is and in that Adam film. Adam Driver is in it. Um, yeah, and I'm playing like a badass woman. Am I allowed to say that? But um, it's going to be really well, cool. Well, working with Spike, what can I mean, you tell us about Spike? I mean, uh, such Spike an encyclopedia is a knowledge. genius and has made some of the greatest movies of all time. And um, I was so lucky to be there and to yeah. learn from him, to work with him. That's fantastic. Yeah. And Jacob, you have a film coming up in the independent film in February, is that Oh, right? yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's called Every Day. Uh, yeah, uh, and Gary Rice, who was actually in our film as well, yeah. uh, she's going to be a star of it. She's very talented. It's a very well-made film. Uh, it's based on the best-selling book. And I'll be honest, I didn't read the book, <laughs> but I've heard it's amazing. So we'll have time. Yeah, it'll come out till February. <laughs> you do know you could keep that a secret. Jay. Yeah, don't oh. have to tell people that. Oh no, I read the uh, the ending of the book is oh, crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, the last page. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Well, and for the three of you, uh, speaking of humor, because that was very funny, uh, one of the things I love best uh, of this ensemble is the humor and the timing. Did you find that it came naturally, or uh, did it take a little work? Or were you, when you saw it on the big screen, did it? I feel like we weren't acting. Everyone just kind of was themselves. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good, right? Yeah. yeah, we spent so much time with each other on and off camera, you know, before we started shooting, we went on a picnic and we played like card games and stuff and we became really close before we even started shooting. Oh, so uh, when we started shooting, we were already like this really tight knit group of friends and uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, getting to know people and, and, and then improvising. John Watts, our amazing director, does such a great job at just letting us do what we want sometimes and just have fun with it. And I know Jacob and I have some ad libs which oh. will never be seen because they are so I, inappropriate. I, I only pray that you guys never see that stuff. <laughs> Terrible. There's some funny stuff, and uh, yeah. So it was just. Thank you so much. I love you too. Oh Thanks my gosh! Guys. All the love. It's like, are we ever gonna say like a full sentence, or is it yeah. <laughs> not so much? It's okay. There's dot dot dot. It's okay. It all goes well. But you were saying, I'm sorry. What was I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about, talking about comedy, and John, John just creates 
such a warm environment to be free and also make mistakes. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I do on set is shit, and there's one really good take, and he always uses that take. So I'm lucky that a director um, allows me to make those real mistakes. Real quick, you just say... I'm not going to repeat it. No, I'm just, I'm just, you can't say shit. Yeah, you can't. Oh. I'm sure you can. No, sure you can. You just did. I did. I did. Just, oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, no. OK, oh, no. moving on. No, no. Next question. Excuse me. Pardon my language. I'm very sorry. So one of the things that, <laughs> getting back, um, Spider-Man, the first, um, you're the first Marvel character in a Marvel Studios film <laughs> that's been in other movies. I mean, you know, yeah. Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, they, they didn't have a screen history. Yeah. There were Spider-Mans before you. Did you look at those performances in those films to kind of immerse yourself into that and try to do different? Or did you try to ignore it and just start from scratch? You know, I mean, because you really could go either way. Well, I mean, when I sat down with John very early on, it was clear that we had the billionaire, the soldier, the god. Now it's time for the kid. You know, it was very clear that we wanted to make a very different movie. And that's why I think Kevin Feige has been so successful because he's not afraid to make risks, right. you know, like he, or take risks. He, you know, he knows he, the material. He knows the material, and every single franchise is completely different while following a similar formula, you know. And uh, for me, I just wanted to make a character that we hadn't seen before, which meant making Peter Parker much younger and grounding him in high school. Um, and I was lucky that I had Civil War. Civil War felt like my audition to the people, you know. While I'd auditioned in front of Marvel, I wanted to do a good job, and I was so grateful that everyone had such a positive response for Civil War that I knew that for Spider-Man Homecoming, all I had to do was what I did on Civil War, but for 90 days rather than three days. Sure. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. And, and, this, and this Peter Parker did feel younger mm. than any Peter Parker we had seen. Also, you know, um, in the Spider-Man, the original screen incarnation with Tobey Maguire, you know, uh, that Spider-Man, his webs came out of his body. Yeah. Uh, and I know, talking to Kevin for years, he said he really wanted to get back to uh, Peter Parker being a science genius who could yeah. come up with this formula and, and do that in yeah. a way that was meaningful. Uh, talk a little bit about that, like, and the science fair and the, and the interaction with the friends that they are science yeah. kids, you know, they're not kids that just are in high school. I mean, they... Well, I definitely don't think we're that smart in real life. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was no. about to say that. <laughs> but character. Yeah. You know. We're really good actors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really good at saying one particular word. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say the word, but... <laughs> well, yeah, I remember doing a, doing a scene where I was uh, fiddling with my web shooters, and John was like, I was, some of the dialogue was something to do with tech stuff, and he was like, just make something up. And I was like, you cast the wrong guy. You, you want me make to make up. up tech stuff? That's not my bag. <laughs> and um, uh, what, do you, what advice did you get as far as maybe things to avoid or do as far as the character, like your, your North Star going in? Uh, I mean, Peter, he, he can't be too confident, right? I mean, he, yeah. has, to, he has to doubt himself, but at the same time, he has to, to follow these, these impulses to be a hero. I mean, that, that's kind of a tricky thing to, to do because you don't want to seem too weak on, on screen, yeah, I if that makes sense. I get that. Uh, thank you, Percy. <laughs> um, no, I mean, there's two very distinct characters. There's Peter Parker and then there's Spider-Man. And from reading the comics, they're very different while sharing a similar personality. So for me, it was about coming up with two very distinct characters that share this unique sort of happy-go-lucky kid lifestyle that they have and uh, that just came from reading the comics you know I, I really did the homework and I've, I admittedly I'd never really read comics before I got the job and then I fell in love with them and I wished I'd been reading them since I was a kid and uh, it's funny I'm on the press tour I thought I read all the Spider-Man oh, comics no, <laughs> and everyone's like did you read this one I was like yeah I think so <laughs> I mean, Starting in 61, I mean, there's I a know. lot of comics. I mean, there's that's, a lot. That's and a... I was so cocky about it. I was like, yeah, I've read all of the comics. I did all the research. And people were like, no, you didn't. You're lying. Yeah. Um, so I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> well, for each of you, you know, um, Jacob, uh, we'll start with you. Tell me a movie that you loved growing up, you know, like a summer movie that, that it feels like you're kind of in the tradition of, you know? Yeah. Like, there, we all love films. You guys wouldn't be actors if you didn't love films. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I actually really liked um, Not Another Teen Movie. Oh, with, yeah. Uh, with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Chris Evans was the Chris Evans in that was just ridiculously funny for he's some so reason. Funny. He's so like, funny. Him. He's so funny. Scott Pilgrim. He was so funny in Scott Pilgrim. Oh, he's yeah. So yeah. And what's so funny is that like, it was I love such that a movie. it was such a two thousands feeling movie. Like it was so in the in the time and. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't want to make me become an actor per se, but it may, it, I definitely want to be cool like that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think you're there. I think you got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think you got oh, it. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh. I'm going to get a water. Do you want a water? Yeah. Do you want water? You're not going to walk off stage right now. I'm going to get a water. I'll be back. I'm really posh. I'll be back. Laura, is there a movie that you really loved? Like a, a summer movie that, uh, when you think of like uh, the things that Marvel films do, a movie that kind of connects with you? I don't know if this is a Marvel film. No, no, not a Marvel. <laughs> any movie. Not a Marvel movie, just Thank any you. movie. We can share. Any movie. I'm good. I mean, I loved Mean Girls. Mean Girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was high school. <laughs> but, and I also loved that our movie wasn't Mean Girls, and Liz wasn't Shame. Regina George. Um, but yeah, that was a big one for, for my childhood. <laughs> I love Mean Girls. <laughs> I have to say, by the way, Mean Girls is great. And, and how nice is this guy? He goes, we can share one. Thank you so much. What a well, nice man. Like, no, I'm good. But, but that's like the nicest thing. Like, <laughs> like here, would you like to share it? That's, he's a good guy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, that's really sweet. So, Tom, uh, for you, like maybe a summer movie, a fun action movie mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, now you feel like, hey, I'm getting to do that, that kind of thing. Is there a movie that resonated with you or something like that? Oh, God, so many. Uh, so many. Um, I mean, Spider-Man is so unique in the way that he moves, and there's no one That's else. There's, yeah, there's no, nothing else really like it. But what I love about John is that. <laughs> Damn! I just noticed that. Oh my God! Wow! What do you know? Who knew? What? Are, what I had no idea. No. <laughs> That's so distracting now. I just want to watch the screen. I'm actually <laughs> really, really nervous. nervous. Well, oh the my crazy God. thing is these lights. Yeah. Like, what are these lights yeah. right here? Like, like, these are crazy. Are there a lot of people back there? We can't even see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Hey! That's amazing. Hey! Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. You're all so yeah. beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, beautiful, beautiful people. Isn't this fun? This is yeah, so yeah, fun. like I feel I like so I'm not gonna lie. It. For the most part, everyone's just kind of just cheering, and we're just saying a bunch of words. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty great. Like, it's like being Bono. Yeah. <laughs> it's like being Bono. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, action movies. I mean, you know, the old James Bond movies, the Mission oh. Impossible movies, all of those things. I love, you know, I love action movies, and uh, for me. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Back oh, to the Future. Yeah. Those are my movies. You know, that's the best. That's what we wanted to do. And John Hughes. Yeah, John Hughes, and that's what John Watts did so well, you know. Yeah. And uh, I'm oh, really well glad said. that we were able to do that. No, that's very well said. You're right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he really does have a lot of John Hughes in him. I yeah. mean, it's like Breakfast Club with superpowers. Well, that's why the poster yes. is the Breakfast Club. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then, just point. Everybody goes crazy. Watch. <laughs> it's great. Uh, and as far as the cast, I mean, the, the Marvel Universe is so full of so many great actors. You mentioned Chris Evans, we yeah. mentioned Chris Hemsworth, Robert Downey Jr., obviously. Uh, is there a moment that you, uh, the three of you, have had with any of those folks? You mentioned Michael Keaton, uh, who's, uh, you know, kind of new to it. Um, but that you, you would share, like, uh, I mean, there must be some fun encounters, right? Oh, there's right? so many. All right. Something that's PG-13. Our first Comic Con was so crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. It Which was one? every movie star in the world, and we were so the kids yeah. who had like never done this at all. Say we that were, again. Which our first Comic Con in oh, San Diego yeah. was pretty yeah, that terrifying. Was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> there was like three, no, four dinner tables, and you had the Black Panther table, the Thor table, the Guardians table, and then the Spider-Man table. And they were like, can you guys quieten down a bit? We're all having too much <laughs> it's fun. It's like Thanksgiving, the kids' yeah, table. Yeah, we no, were like, yeah! What sure was so crazy table, yeah. is that, like, at one point, at one point, literally, Benedict Cumberbatch and Lupita Nyong'o were talking to each other as if they were, like, normal people. <laughs> like, as if they had no idea who they were. Like, it was crazy. Like, Then oh Rachel McAdams told you you have beautiful skin. Oh. <laughs> He died. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was the most amazing moment of my life, I will say yeah. that right now. Oh. This has nothing to do with anything, but how great does that Black Panther movie look? Oh, oh I mean, like, Isn't that exciting? 
so good. And so also cool. the soundtrack. I mean, the right? soundtrack. I mean, Kendrick Lamar. Like, yeah. Oh, that's really? really? Yeah, Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. Yeah. They know that. Oh, whew. yeah. That was. They're taking it up a notch. I knew that ages ago, and I've been so I've been trying so hard to keep that a secret. I'm so glad you guys know. Is that exciting? Oh, amazing! The movie looks amazing. I've been working with Chadwick over the last year now, and he's the nicest guy. He's so humble, and uh, I'm very jealous of his costume. Yeah. He walks on set in, in the suit, and it's oh, he's so cool, so Man, cool. He's badass. He's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to leave again. I'm like, where's he going now? <laughs> he's just walking off. And then, um, as far, well, it'd be great. What, if, if you had your dream of a soundtrack for a Spider-Man film, what, movie, what kind of music would you love to see Spider-Man swinging around to? That's kind of fun to think about. <laughs> someone, someone said Umbrella. <laughs> that was cool. I loved doing lip sync battle, oh. but I regret it so much. <laughs> but what about Zendaya though for lip sync battle? I mean, come on. Man, she killed that. And now you also have another movie coming out with Doug Lyman, right? I do. Yes, I do. Doug Lyman, Chaos Walker. fantastic director. Yeah, and and the interesting thing for me with Chaos Walking is that I always play. <laughs> I, I always play the nice guy, like the sort of happy-go-lucky, innocent kid, and in Chaos Walking, I am the complete opposite. Really? And I'm the scary, tough, hard kid from a really scary place, and uh, we have the wonderful Daisy Ridley playing Viola, and uh, it's, it's different, it's, it's unique. I've never seen a movie like it, Doug Lyman is absolutely incredible and out of this world, and I loved making it, and it's going to be something different for me, um, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I think it comes out in May next year. Okay. And uh, but I hope maybe after, we should maybe change that date, because Avengers comes out in May, right? <laughs> well, one of the things about him, is like his films, it's so much about the editing and the music and the, yeah. and the, the way it looks on the screen. Is he great with acting, too, like on the set? Like He's brilliant. Uh, the thing I love about Doug is we'll come on set and we'll read the scene, and he'll go, no, I'm not doing that. Let's rewrite it. So you spend two hours of the morning rewriting a scene, and then like you... it's the first time he's ever seen the script, or like, yeah, you've <laughs> like, never seen it before. I'm reading the lines like, okay, okay. So then I do this, and then I punch him in the face, and <laughs> okay. And then we completely change it, and then we film it, and then the next day we reshoot it, and it's it was such a unique way of making a film, and uh, for me, like really fun because I love collaborating and working with Doug as someone who is so good at taking on ideas. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I get to fight, like, really nasty fights. Really? It's fun, yeah. Can you tell us a little more about it or not so much? Like, you, your character, like, what the character is? I play is? a character called Todd Hewitt, who... <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone read yeah, the book? <laughs> yeah! I love that name. Um, <laughs> did you say have I? <laughs> I have actually read the book. <laughs> I play a character called Todd Hewitt who grows up on a planet where there are only men and there's no such thing as privacy because they have this aura around them where they can see each other's thoughts and Todd finds a girl, Viola, in the forest and they go on the run together uh, to find a better place and it's a, a very unique story and something that we definitely haven't seen before. That's extraordinary. Yeah. And what's the planet look like? Is it like an avatar or like an a apocalyptic kind of planet? or? A... You can. I well, I mean, we shot in Montreal, so right now it looks green like screen. Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. But green I'm sure they'll do something to it to make it look otherworldly. <laughs> I've been to Montreal. It feels like another planet. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty amazing. I mean, we had some days where I was in blazing heat, other days where it was snowing, and I was wearing a vest for the whole first part of the movie, and as we were filming, it was getting colder and colder and colder. So we had to write a scene where my character finds a jacket. Because I was like, Doug, dude, I'm so <laughs> cold, man. Please, can, can we, we find a jacket? give me a coat or something? So uh, eventually, my character Todd just finds a jacket on the floor, and uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Now you mentioned a picnic uh, earlier uh, that, that yeah. uh, you all had. Tell us a little more about that. Like, where was that? Like, when? When was that? <laughs> my favorite was Laura. Oh, we were like in a supermarket looking for food, and Laura was like, "Hey guys, should we get some cheese? <laughs> cheese?" And we were like, "Yeah, sure." She sounds like, good. Cheddar like, <laughs> or something. 
I She's think more I sophisticated. Needed, than yeah, it was y'all. a lot more like. Uh, I, the, I just picked out way too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we had so much cheese for four people, five people. Oh, jeez. Um, no, I'm not gonna try. It's gonna be really embarrassing. <laughs> was that the first day? That was yeah, that was literally the yeah. first day we had to spend with each other. Was that in Southern California, or where was that? No, we were in no, Atlanta. We were in Atlanta. Oh, oh, Atlanta. Piedmont. Uh, mm. Yeah. So the spider bite was pretty pretty early <laughs> on too. The pool spider bite, or was that later? No, no, that was like halfway. No? This was like halfway through because it was the day before I ha- we have the scene in the hallway where I'm in my swimsuit and we have the little thing and my arm was big and I had to be wow. in a swimsuit the next day. So That's that fantastic. was cool. Oh, um, yeah. And so the picnic went, uh, I mean, where was it? It like, went really smoothly. It was just in a park. We sat down and had a picnic. And then we also went to Waffle House. Yeah, we went to Waffle oh, House. Big in Georgia. A lot yeah, of Waffle yeah. Houses my everywhere. First time, my first time to Waffle House. Yeah. And it was great. Um, I was very nervous, actually, before that picnic. Really? Because, you know, it was, it's a big thing for me. Playing this character is a dream come true. And meeting the people I'm going to share this experience with, yeah, I was definitely. just nervous to meet them. It was like felt like my first day at school. But I was just so lucky that John... Did such a good job of putting people yeah. together who were going to get along, and uh, from the first moment we hung out, it was it was apparent that this was going to be a really fun one. Honestly, it was so fun. I never admitted this to you guys, but uh, I was really nerve wracked, like meeting you guys, because you guys had done so many things, and I had done literally nothing, like, and you know, you guys were just so like accomplished, and I was just like, God, I really, oh, thanks, you guys, oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, I, oh, but, uh, I, I really do not remember what I was saying, though. Um, I was saying terrified. Nervous, I was so nervous. It was, it was really, because it was yeah. crazy for me, honestly, especially, like, when we, especially that one day where, when we were all just reading a script in that room. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that was, was like, yeah. like, weird, like, Harrison, Harrison came in. <laughs> Harrison, yeah. Yeah, let's have a Harrison cheer. <laughs> there you go. There you go, yeah. Show Harrison some love, but. He came in and he offered us like some donuts and stuff. And he was like, when we first met him, I was just like, whoa, this is like this really cool English, like, like assistant of Tom's, you know? And, um, and like, he walked out, he, he walked out of the room and he kind of tripped a little. Yeah. And uh, I forgot about that. It was that. so awkward. Oh my God. I remember. Goodness. Did we laugh or we were trying to be polite? I definitely though. tried not to laugh. <laughs> no, he remembers it. He rem- he's very embarrassed. I think that was addressed. We talk we're, like, being about it nice. a lot. Yeah, yeah. You get it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember these guys had just got to the studio and they were in this office where they were reading the script. And sometimes we're not allowed to take the scripts home because of secrets. We all know how terrible I am at keeping secrets. Um, so I remember seeing Jacob reading the script like this. <laughs> so I can see him. He'd read a page and then go. <gasps> All oh, right, let's not embarrass me in front of all these people. No, it's your eighth turn the page. Oh. <laughs> and it's so funny because I really was laughing at the funny parts. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I feel really, really ashamed. God, <laughs> darn it. You know, so movies aren't filmed, obviously, in the order they're made. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the first day of shooting? What scene were you guys doing? And what was the last day of shooting? I remember clearly. I don't know if Tom remembers, but I do. Uh, what was the first day? Do you remember? We were oh, I remember, school. I remember, I remember, I remember. You go. No, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was, what, it was a school was thing. We were in a classroom, and uh, it was when you were making the web fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Day one. And uh, in, I remember in that scene, I kept calling you Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. It's better than Spider-Man, it was, I guess. Yeah, it was yeah. really bad. Um, I thought I was going to get fired. Uh, luckily, <laughs> they didn't use any of that audio. <laughs> so that was the first day, and then I'm sure by the end, well, you started to say. Did you have a... Oh, by the end, the last scene, what, do you remember the last day when you guys rapped? Yeah, I remember the last, the last day was in you York. and I, yeah. when we're getting out of uh, the Vulture's car to go to the dance, um, and it was a very special moment for me because, unfortunately, Michael couldn't be there because of uh, some scheduling thing, and George Cottle, our amazing stunt coordinator, had to fill in for Michael, and we, we used to take the mick out of George because he is a very well-known uh, stunt car driver. Yeah. And he had to drive this Jaguar very gingerly, so it wasn't the most heroic moment for him, but it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it must have been very emotional for you guys uh, when, when you were all done. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I did cry. Just a little. I, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a really big baby. 
But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I cried at the end, and then you yeah. made fun of me, and then we just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that. No, I, cr- I cried. My wonderful hair and makeup artists, Heather and Jerry, were like my mums when I was making this movie. You know, I'm in, in, mm. in the makeup chair at 5 o'clock in the morning, I leave at 9 o'clock at night, I spent all day with them, and they looked after me every step of the way. So when we finished, you know when you have a cry where you just like... <laughs> <laughs> But you just can't stop shaking, and I remember hug, hugging Heber and Jerry, and I, st- oh. I see them all the time, but yeah. it, was, uh, it was really sad for me when we finished. Yeah, we were at that hotel in the lobby, and I remember, I remember that happening in front of me. Yeah. And that made me want to cry my eyes out, too, but I was just like, you know what? I'm trying to be strong right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think what people don't realize, too, is when you're doing a movie that has as many special effects and as many scenes, as many moving parts, you're doing the script and you're there and stuff, but you, when you see it as a finished product, it's so different than what you yeah. expect. It's so, you know, you don't know what's going to be in it, you know, like really by the end. Yeah. Sometimes, like sometimes you kind of feel like a butt acting in front of like a green screen, <laughs> you know, because it's like you try to be like super like into this thing and you're like literally like, oh my God, the building's falling. And you're just like standing in front of a wall. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> Look at that tennis ball. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. A dragon. Ah, oh, fire breathing. And it's like a fan blowing in your face. <laughs> I remember for Avengers, uh, the Russo brothers are like, so you're just standing here and you're fighting this guy and uh, just do whatever. I'm like, okay, uh, who am I fighting? Like, well, we can't tell you because it's a secret. I'm like, okay, so what does he look like? And like, well, we can't tell you because that'll give it away. I'm like, okay, so what is he, how big is he? And they're like, well, we can't tell you because that will give it away. So I'm just standing there punching the air for 15 minutes. And when I took the job, I didn't think that's what I would be doing. But, uh, but you know, I've got used to it now. <laughs> but when you see the final product, that must have been, uh, for all of you, especially with Homecoming, mm. must have been like a really wonderful thing because yeah. it does, it's such a sweet, and yeah. thoughtful and, and, and complete and satisfying film, you know, and, and that for all three of you is a testament to your, but it must have been a huge relief. Yeah, it's I a real labor of love, isn't it? Seeing the first trailer really just yeah. Yeah. blew me away. Yeah. Like it was probably the most satisfying thing. Uh, love you too, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first see it? Where were you when you, uh, you were together? Well, yeah, oh, we you were saw in it together? Yeah, we saw it yeah. in New York, yeah. Which was so much better seeing it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I totally so felt a lot anymore. less nervous. Yeah. yeah, I think I was like, yeah, no, it was you. crazy. Yeah, oh. yeah, I first saw it and none of the effects had been done, yeah. and it, there was no like CGI. And the thing that I was so amazed by was how much I enjoyed the film without the effects. Yeah. And that's how I knew John had done such a great job of balancing this sort of indie John Hughes movie with this epic Spider-Man movie. Yeah. It was such a great contrast, but was so. Uh, what's the word? Big and small. Big and small time. at the same time. Yeah. And, and for me, watching it without CGI was, was pretty special. And then obviously watching it with CGI blew me away. Yeah. And uh, you know what's even more special? Being here today and seeing all these fans, right? Yeah. Yes. Really amazing. Jacob, Laura, it's so nice to see you all. Tom, it's so great to Thank see you. Thank you very much. Thank There's you. so much love for you in this room. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Ace Comic Con, can we have a big thank you and a goodbye? Spider-Man cast. Guys, thank, thank you, you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Could we take a quick picture? I'll take a picture of all three of you in the background. You want to stand there? Yeah, here you go. Of course. Yeah. I'm also going to yeah, take it and I'll take it as well. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey. Hey. Nice day there, Thanks, bud. Sorry. Thank you guys. See you guys. Thanks so much. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys.